In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a questions and answers page to WordPress. Customers, when they're on a website, can have many questions. A good way to answer customer questions and queries is by adding a questions and answers page, for example, an FAQ page. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is log into WordPress on an admin account. When you're inside of WordPress, you then want to click on plugins on the side, then click on add new. Then in the top right, search for this plugin, quick and easy FAQs. You'll see it here. Click on install now. Choose activate. You'll then see that FAQs becomes available on the left. Click on it. Click on add new. And then you add the question where it says add title. And you add the answer of the question where it says here type to choose a block. So you add the question there, and then you add the answer of the question here. It's possible to group questions, and you can do that by opening up the settings. So you should have an icon that looks something like that. If you hover over it, you can go into the settings, then click on FAQ. Then you want to open up the groups and click on add new FAQ group. Just scroll down a little bit if you can't see this box. And then I'm going to give the group a name. So every question, for example, can I return a product if I change my mind, that's assigned to the returns group, you'll see it under that section. So if you click on add new group, you'll see that it automatically ticks. If you want to assign multiple, you can do that by creating another group. You can also untick it and that unassigns it. And if you tick it, it assigns it. When you're ready to publish the question, you can just click publish. But if you want it, you can click on save draft and it just saves the question. You can also click on there and preview it in a new tab if you want. So, but I'm just going to click on publish and then publish again. And it's live on the site. And next I'll show you how you can create a page for the FAQs. So you want to go back into WordPress. We'll do that by clicking on the W. And then we'll click on pages. Then click on add new. We'll just call it simply FAQs. Where it says here type to choose a block, hit the forward slash and then just type FAQ. And you can choose from different options here. So I personally just like the simple one, as you can see here. It's possible to save this page by just clicking save draft. You can also preview what it looks like there, for example. So that's how it looks like, and you can repeat what I've taught you in this lesson to add numerous questions. If I go back to the page we were on previously, you can, of course, publish the page by clicking publish and publish again and the page will be live on the site. Next, I'll show you how to add the FAQ page to a menu in WordPress. So if you click on the W in the top left, and then you go down to appearance on the side, and then click on menus, you can then find the FAQ page, so it'll be under pages here, but you can choose what menu you want to add it to. So currently there's two there. So pick the menu you want, choose select. Then find the page, so the FAQs page, 
and then click on add to menu and as you can see there it appears and you can reorder it if you want by just dragging it or you can leave it where it is and then click on save menu and the menu will be visible on the website so if you just go to the home page and you click on FAQs there you'll see the FAQ question that you can open and you can close and again if you follow the tutorial back through and you can also find it on builderwebs.com you'll be able to create the questions again and again and add the answers in I hope this tutorial has shown you how to add a questions and answers page to WordPress. If you want to follow this tutorial along step by step, head over to builderwebs.com. There's a link to it in the description where you can follow this tutorial through step by step on a web page. I'm Jonathan from Builderwebs and thank you for watching the video.